we need to write the value of each digit. So first we have the number 4529. Remember, we count place values from the right, and we have our ones, tens, hundreds, then our thousands. So the nine is in the ones place value, so that just stands for nine. The four is in the thousands, so that's four thousand. The five is in the hundreds, so it represents five hundreds. And then we have two in our tens, so that's twenty. Now we have the number 8,706. The 7 is in our hundreds place value, so that represents 700. That's 7 followed by two zeros, because notice in our number, after the 7, we have two digits. The 8 is in our thousands place, so that represents 8,000. That's 8 followed by three zeros, because in our number, after the 8, we have 3 digits. And then the 6 is in our 1s, so that just stands for 6. Now we also have a 0 in this number. But whatever place value it's in, the value of the 0 is just 0. A 0 never has any value in itself. But zeros are important because they give the other digits the right place value. So because we have a 0 in this number, that means the 7 is in our hundreds, and we know the 8 is in our thousands. Now we have the number 8041. The 1 is in our 1's place value, it's on the end, so that just stands for 1. The 4 is in the 10's, so that's 40. And the 8 is in the 1000's place value, so that represents 8000. We can show place value counters to represent these numbers. So for 4,529, that 4 represents 4,000, so we can show 4,000 counters. The 5 represents 500s, the 2, 2 tens, and the 9, 9 ones. Now for the number 8,706, the 8 represents 8,000s, the seven, seven hundreds, the zero doesn't represent anything at all, and the six represents six ones. Then for 8,041, we have eight thousands, no hundreds, four tens, and one one.